Have you ever heard of Makana? It's also known as popped water lily seeds or popped lotus flower seeds. This delightful little snack is making waves in the world of health and wellness, with its unique taste and numerous health benefits. The humble makana is quite versatile, and it's been gaining attention far and wide, from gourmet chefs to fitness enthusiasts. Originating in East Asia, makana has been a staple in some cultures for centuries. It's not just a treat for the taste buds, but it's also packed with nutritional goodness. The best part? They're light, crunchy, and incredibly satisfying. Now what makes makana really stand out is its potential as a snack alternative. Picture this, you're settling down for a movie night, but instead of reaching for the popcorn, you grab a bowl of makana. Yes, you've got it. It's an amazing snack replacement, especially for those who can't eat popcorn or are allergic to corn. But where does makana come from, you may wonder? Well, let's take a trip to the lush wetlands of Eastern Asia, where the story of makana begins. Here, amidst the tranquil ponds and slow-moving bodies of water, grows the Uriali ferox plant. This plant is a type of water lily, but it's not your average pond-dwelling flora. The Uriali ferox has a special gift to give us, the seeds that will eventually become the makana we know and love. These seeds are not immediately ready to be popped and munched on. No, they require a careful process to transform into the light, crunchy snack we enjoy. Harvesting these seeds is a labor-intensive task that involves collecting them from the water lily pods, which float on the surface of the water. This process is usually performed by skilled farmers who have honed their craft over generations. Once harvested, the seeds are left to dry naturally. This drying process is crucial as it prepares the seeds for the popping stage. The drying phase often takes several days and is monitored carefully to ensure the seeds are perfectly primed for what's to come. Now comes the most exciting part, the popping. The dried seeds are heated at high temperatures. Under this intense heat, the seeds burst open, revealing their white, puffed interiors. This is how the seed transforms into the makana we are familiar with. It's quite a journey, isn't it? From a water lily seed in a peaceful Eastern Asian pond to a popped morsel of goodness in our snack bowls. The creation of makana is a blend of nature's bounty and human ingenuity, a harmony of tradition and taste. So it's not just a delicious snack, it's a product of meticulous and fascinating process. Now, are you curious about how this snack is made? Well, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey, from the serene ponds where water lilies grow, to your snack bowl. This process isn't for the faint of heart, as it involves a great deal of manual labor and precision. First, let's start where it all begins, the water lily ponds. During the monsoon season, Farmers wade into these ponds to harvest the seeds from the water lily plants. It's an arduous task, but one that's been perfected over generations. Once harvested, these seeds are then left to dry naturally under the sun. This step is crucial, as it reduces the moisture content in the seeds, preparing them for the next stage. After the seeds are sufficiently dry, the real magic begins. They are roasted at a high temperature. But here's the catch. It's not as simple as tossing them into a hot oven. The seeds need to be stirred constantly to ensure they heat evenly and don't burn. This demands a keen eye and a steady hand. And then, when the temperature is just right, something wondrous happens. The seeds puff up, almost like popcorn, but without the corn. This transformation is the result of the high heat causing the moisture within the seeds to rapidly expand, leading to a delightful puffing effect. Once puffed, the makana are then left to cool before being sorted and packaged. And voila! That's how the humble water lily seed transforms into the nutritious and tasty makana snack. But remember, while this process may sound straightforward, it requires a great deal of skill and patience. Each step, from harvesting to roasting, is carried out with care to ensure the best quality. Our hats off to the diligent farmers and workers who make it possible for us to enjoy this wonderful snack. And that's how the humble water lily seed transforms into the nutritious and tasty makana snack. Not only is it a great snack alternative, but it's also packed full of health benefits. Now let's dive into the world of makana and uncover the many benefits it holds. Makana is a nutritional powerhouse, boasting a high protein content. It's a fantastic source of protein, especially for individuals who follow a plant-based diet. This protein helps in muscle building and tissue repair, keeping your body strong and well-functioning. But that's not all. Makana also has a low-fat content, making it an excellent choice for those watching their weight or managing their cholesterol levels. And because it's low in calories, you can munch on it guilt-free, 
anytime you feel the need for a snack. Moreover, Makana is rich in a wide variety of vitamins and minerals, from calcium and iron to magnesium and phosphorus, it's like a multivitamin in snack form. These nutrients are essential for bone health, blood production, nerve function, and many other physiological processes. One of the most significant benefits of Makana is its positive impact on heart health. It contains a good amount of potassium, which is known to help control blood pressure, and it's rich in fiber, which can help lower your risk of heart disease. And let's not forget about Makana's antioxidant properties. These tiny seeds are packed with flavonoids, a type of antioxidant that helps protect your cells from damage by harmful free radicals. This can help slow down the aging process and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. If you're looking to manage your weight, Makana could be a great addition to your diet. Its high fiber content can help you feel fuller for longer, reducing your overall food intake. There's also some evidence that Makana may help regulate blood sugar levels, making it a potentially beneficial snack for people with diabetes. And the best part? All these health benefits come in a tasty, crunchy package that's easy to incorporate into your daily routine. Whether you're watching a movie, reading a book, or just need a quick pick-me-up, Makana is there for you. So you're not just snacking, you're nourishing your body. Makana proves that healthy eating doesn't have to be boring or complicated. It's simple, delicious, and oh so good for you. Now we'd love to hear about your experiences with Makana. Isn't it fascinating how something so small and seemingly insignificant can pack such a nutritional punch? That's the magic of Makana, our star for today. But we're not here to do all the talking. We want to hear from you. Have you ever tried Makana before? Perhaps you've experimented with it in your kitchen, coming up with delectable recipes that left everyone smacking their lips and asking for more. Or maybe you've used Makana as your go-to snack during movie nights, enjoying its light and airy texture while staying immersed in the plot. And let's not forget about those who've turned to Makana for its health benefits. We've discussed how it's a great alternative for those who can't eat popcorn or are allergic to corn. Have you experienced these benefits firsthand? We're sure there are many unique stories out there, and we can't wait to hear them. We're also curious about your creative side. Do you have any favorite recipes that feature Makana? Maybe you've discovered a unique way to roast them or found a spice combination that perfectly complements their delicate flavor. Or perhaps you've whipped up a dish that beautifully incorporates makana, making it the star of your dinner table. We believe that sharing is caring, so don't hesitate to share your recipes or culinary experiments with makana. Your insights could inspire someone else to try this incredible ingredient and discover its potential. Besides, isn't it exciting to be a part of a community where we learn from each other and grow together? And remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. Whether you're a seasoned makana enthusiast or someone who's just getting started, your experiences and insights matter to us. So let's get this conversation started. We're all ears and can't wait to delve into your Makana stories. Don't forget to comment below with your Makana stories and suggestions. That's all about Makana for today, folks. We've journeyed from its origins, to the intricate process of its creation, to its numerous health benefits. It's clear that Makana, also known as popped water lily seeds or popped lotus flower seeds, is more than just a tasty snack. It's a gift from nature, a perfect blend of taste and health that can easily replace popcorn, even for those who might be allergic to corn. We hope you found this exploration as exciting as we did. Your time and attention are much appreciated. If Makana sparked your interest, feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section. Remember, knowledge is power and sharing it makes the world an even better place. So don't hesitate to share this video with your friends and family. Remember to like and subscribe to the Wealth, Health and Truth channel on YouTube. Weave what you want.